Alrighty, you're back once again with some more org mode for you. There is a lot more we have to talk about. Today we are going to be talking about keywords. Because this is the actual core of org mode. You have different tasks, for instance, eating breakfast. Let's go, let's move brush teeth back where it belongs. So we can actually brush our teeth. Uh, before eating breakfast, breakfast, I'll put some white space here that I don't really need. And let's actually mark those items as either to be done or done. The way we do it is let's move to an item, brush teeth, and holding shift, we can use left and right, the arrow keys, to mark them as either an item to do or an item done. We can cycle through those states. There is three states by default. There is the default state that doesn't have a single keyword. There is to do and there is done. That's it. All you have to do is hold shift and use either left or right on your keyboard. Left is going to cycle backwards, right is going to cycle in a normal way. And that's all fun and games. So you can do like, you know, mark everything as to do. Oops mark everything as to do for Monday and for Tuesday as well and after you brushed your teeth you can come back you now hold shift right it's done you know you now know you have brushed your teeth you don't need to take care of this anymore and as I said by default there is two states or three states really one being the default that doesn't do anything the to do state and the done state you can add your own custom states. And there is another cool function that I'd like to show you. Or, well, two of them, really. And the way you add your own custom states is add another property up top with pound sign plus. And this one's called SEQ, which stands for sequential and to do. Add a colon there, and there is a lot of things you can do here. For instance, the one. Um, function I like using, uh, or the one um, attribute I guess, is waiting. So let me type waiting, and then in the brackets, I'll hit W. Let me. I will explain this in a second. Pipe symbol, and the another state I'd like to use is cancelled. And in the brackets, I'll just use C. If you don't need to save this and reload this, you can actually reload this one line with Control C, Control C. Local setup has been refreshed. And now when you move to an item, you can cycle through its states. You have waiting, cancelled, done, waiting, cancelled, done. And there is that. The issue that actually happens now, as you can notice, all our states were, are gone. They are all the same color. They don't work anymore. So this is why you actually want to do this before you actually start working on an org, org mode document. I'm not sure if I should consider this a bug or not. The difference or the important symbol here is the pipe. Okay? Everything that's left of the pipe is something that's, you know, that you still have to do. So let's add a to-do state. Um, let's give it a T. And let's let's create a done state with D. Let's do Control C, Control C again. Now, when you go to a item now and you shift the scroll, you have to do or waiting, and then in green, you either have cancelled or done. Cancelled, you know, maybe you just came to the real realization that it's a project you you don't really care about anymore, or you know, you could add a state like postponed. So when you, you know, you come back to it at a later date, whatever, either of those will do. So you have multiple states now that you can cycle through with shift. And you can really just, just move around. You know, you can have the waiting state. This is something I really like using. You know, I can't eat breakfast. Uh, oh, that's, that's bad. Okay. That's not something I want to show you yet. Let's say I am going to have, I have brush teeth to do, and then eat breakfast is in waiting, and same for go to work. 
I can't eat breakfast before I brush my teeth, and I can't go to work before I eat breakfast, so I have a dog waiting. I mean, obviously, this is a, you know, an imaginary schedule. This may not be something that you really want to do, but when you're scheduling your entire week, you know, there is some assignments and projects you can, just can't do before you do others. And this is why, you know, you have these things. Alright? That's pretty much what I wanted to show you. You can cycle through all of those, as mentioned. You can add your own to-do cycles, or your own to-do states. Just remember, everything left of the pipe in the sequential to-do is part of actually to-do. You know, you haven't done it yet. You can have, like, I don't know, you can add a state like project, you know, something big, and you have, like, multiple subheadings for it. And when you complete all the subheadings, you can mark the entire project as done. And then right of it, I only use cancelled and done. There is really no other state for me for projects that I, I consider finished. But the one thing I want to show you still is what are these letters for? Alright, now you can mark something with a specific state without using the shift key. Let's go to go to branch. And you can hit Control C, Control T, and you'll have this little buffer pop up with all the options that you have specified in your org mode file. If I want to mark this as waiting, I have to hit W. If I want to hit uh, mark it as done, I have to hit T. So let's say Tuesday go to brunch. I can't go to brunch on Tuesday until I brush my teeth on Monday, right? So I hit W, and it's marked as waiting. That's as simple as it is. There really is, you know, there really is nothing else. That's, it is legitimately very simple, but that's exactly what I wanted to show you. The other thing I wanted to show you is something I, I just can't stress enough. Let's save this. Let's quit Emacs. Let's open, let's just open the terminal and open this file with nano. As you can see, technically, this is all plain text. All of it. You can write org mode without Emacs. You can write org mode in quite virtually every other. You can even do this in Notepad on Windows. All right. That's 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 very important to understand that this is all just plain text. You can write it. You could technically even read it. You don't have the functionality here outside of Emacs. But if I really wanted to, I could change this waiting. And this to do, let's let's say let's say I am done brushing my teeth and now I have this to do. I have to eat for the breakfast now. Let's save it, close it. Let's open Emacs again. Let's make this full screen. Let's open the file. Let's unwind all these. And it's you know, it's working now. It's just that these few keywords like done to do or whatever you specified in this this line they are all marked in their own way they're just plain text but we wouldn't be done without a bit of configuration because you know org mode it's really nice but it's even better when you, you know, learn to configure it there's a few things that annoy me first of all these asterisks in my emacs tutorial series we've gotten rid of those but here we do not, so let's get rid of those. If you have used package set up, you can quite literally just copy what I did. And if you do, if you do not, uh, you kind of have to go about it a roundabout way, which is not really bad in itself. You just have to install the package. So MX, there's packages. There's a package I want. It's called Org Bullets. So control S, org, all, now we don't have this, we don't have Melpa set up. <sighs> For the next video I'm going to set it up, please refer to my Emacs tutorials on how to set up Melpa and set up org bullets, because I, I can't live without org bullets, really. They make everything nicer. So yeah, yeah, please just, you know, go back to my series, you don't have to watch all of it if you're only here for the org mode. Just watch until the point we set up Melpa and use package. And, you know, for the next video I'll have org bullets set up. 
We can, however, do a few different things. There is something called visual line mode, which is really... Why am I doing this? Which is really useful, because when we are in org mode now, let's say we have a long description as to brushing our teeth, let's just put in some text. When it gets to the end of the line, it's going to just continue. I don't like this behavior. You see these little arrows here at the side? I am not a big fan of this. I want line wrapping to happen, okay? Line wrapping, it just makes stuff really nice. Let's save this. Let's open our configuration file. Oops, just like that. And in our configuration file, I am going to enable a mode. Actually, I'm going to add a hook. Because I only want to enable this for org mode. And the way I'm going to enable it is with a lambda, no arguments, visual, line, mode, one. Let's close this off, save this. And let's evaluate the buffer. Let's kill this. Now when we continue typing, actually it's not going to work. Let's kill this. We need to reopen this. Because we added this as a hook. Actually it's called lesson one. Now when we continue as we left off and try typing some more, you'll see what's going to happen. Namely, it's going to line wrap for us. Very, very nice. Very much easier. And, you know, it's, it's, it's just nicer, right? Or modes, all about nice stuff. Yeah, that's, that's about it. In the next video, we are actually going to talk about deadlines, I think. And setting up a lot of other stuff. I'm also going to stop Oric Bullets. The, way, the same way I did in my Emacs tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I hope you stick with me for the next video. Thank you very much, and goodbye.